Hey, people, injured here. Baby three, Hades wastes, blue team. Couple of apothecaries here is overtly generous. We also have paranoid kamikaze. These guys are support heroes fighting in melee by default. Can get ranged weapons, begin with a heal and a passive health. Regeneration aura alongside is YZ with a Lord Commissar. Strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a refractor shield. Red team, Honiken with a very naughty inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. Alongside is a foul odor, double plague champion, Skid. And we have up high here. These guys start with damage over time, bolt guns. They can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support can also repair. And they're both using Black Legion scheme, so there's going to be some confusion, I think. Overtly Generous is on the west side where the contested victory point is. We'll see how they handle that. They're famous for going all the way to tier 3 with just Captain Marines and Scouts which may not be conducive to holding a victory point for long periods. They make it work by floating around the map and constantly rotating and supporting which is much easier to do when you're the mid player. I guess they could just ask YZ to pay attention to the west side, maybe hold it with some stuff. They're pushing through the mid. They've already rotated mid, as you can see. Heretics barely get away for up high. Double CSM for both the Chaos players. Should be a solid base with that Nurgle worship, especially if they get the double Eternal Wars. Big champion has to run. There's Kraken Bolts. Those guys getting a Flamer. Yes, they are. Most likely overtly will get Tactical Flamer. Shotgun for the scouts. And purification rights. And customized storm bolter. Although they might not get all of that in tier 1. Usually they do. And then they just ride out tier 2 with mobility. And constant flanks and stuff. And hitting of powers. Speaking of hitting power. They're getting towards this after bashing the mid. Oh and noding it as well. Inquisitor chasing down some guardsmen. She wields a plasma pistol and a regular sword. Maybe you should have picked up a power sword before you left. Miss Inquisitor. She does alright though, eh? Hammer of Witches on the Apothecary's face. Such an amazing starting ability. Can't miss unless they run out of range, I guess. Has good range on it. Damage and a stun. So good. On to one cap very early on. What's going on east side? We've got double CSM as we said. Some Nurgle worship. Devastators on the field for Paranoid Kamikaze. Spotters for YZ. Noise Marines for Skid and Honiken with Cachetan Devils. Uh, this is the oh, this is the Cadian skin, so we can't see their cool bandanas and stuff. They look alright. They've got little backpacks on. Ready for a, ready for an adventure. You guys going to cap this VP? They are going to attempt to, and now they're going for power, where they should be. Yes. Both Imperial Guard players with Sentinels up. Do we have any ground pound? We do have a ground pound for YZ. Those attacks are quite low for Overtly, so you might see them healed very soon. Have they spent any more power? Yep, here comes Purification Rights. And Shotguns are already in as well. So we'll see if the Customized Storm Bolter comes out before Tier 2. There's the off-map mortar shell for the spotters there. In their original design, they were meant to get an actual mortar model that they fire, but it's hard to do, especially back then when there wasn't really a modeler working on the mod. Maybe they could nick one now from Company of Heroes 1 or 2 or something, use those animations and maybe the mortar model and put some guardsmen with it. That'd be fun. Shotgun scouts and now flame attacks, bashing power on the southwest corner here. Oh, looks like Skid dropped their heretic somewhere. Not sure when that happened, but they've got some more heretics right over here. Overtly now backing off. Is that Aura of Discipline? It is. So we've got potentially double Apothecary Auras with potentially double Advanced Healing. And the Aura of Discipline. It's a hell of a combo. Also has a Power Sword for the buffs. Lead by example. And Carapace Armor on the way. I think... I think this is a 20% inspiration with the Power Sword of the Lord Commissar. I think it is. 
It's good stuff. Sneaky scouts. Maybe looking for a sneaky grenade. That's a blob of CSM right there. They go for it. Actually really well dodged by Skid. Gets a turn of war on both of those guys. Noise Marines are bad news for scouts as well. Can shut down all of their sneaky ranged attacks like shotguns and grenades and things. What's going on over here? Heretics with aspiring champion bashing power. Oh, and they do get customized storm bolters. So they also got the scout sergeant in tier one. Heavy tier one with only two units. The Raptors on the field though for up high. Might drop a model to this Lord Commissar's power sword. There's the carapace armor as well. Gives him a chunk of health, health regen, and makes gives him buffs when he uses Inspire Courage. Can you Inspire Courage on Artillery Spotters so that their shell does double damage, or does it not work like that? Is it only weapons? Power bashing in the Northwest Natural Power. We have the Holy Brazier, so she did get herself a power weapon in the end. Does it really do a lot of damage to generators? I didn't think it did. There is a stomp. Sends the Inquisitor flying. Soaks up a bunch of damage, helping these guys continue bashing 442 to 497. Everyone thinking about their tier twos. Overtly could go right now. There it is. Back to the east side. A dead devastator, but they are fully reinforced here. Double scouts for Paranoid Kamikaze. He's good at using double scouts, Kamikaze. Through the mid, though, look at this. Power bashing force. Double a ton of war CSM and noise music. Gonna make very short work of that. That sonic blaster shakes apart structures. Neat. Nasty grenade in the mid from overtly generous. Heretics only survived because they had their sparring champion. Raptors in on the Devastators. Surprised we didn't see a grenade go in there to punish that jump. Oh, maybe we did, actually. No, I don't think we did. Both those scouts have full full uh, energy still. There's some Nurgle worship. Plague Champion moves up. Shoot the scouts, fellas. We'd rip them apart. There we go. Double CSM with a ton of war and the Plague Champion shooting those scouts. They were going to lose models quick. Some more Nurgle worship. Grenade. Kills a Chaos Space Marine. Those guys didn't drop a model, you know. Wow. Those guys did, but it did kill a Chaos Space Marine. Play Champion getting quite low. Saw the Apothecary throw a heal on those Tactical Marines. He's just hanging out now to give them the health regen. Speaking of health regen, there's some Nurgle Worship. These guys should be going into melee. There we go. No, nope. we're just getting closer and shooting. Should be going into melee, I think. There's some Kraken Bolts. Why are they backing off? Oh, Devastators are moving up. Maybe they saw them. 442 to 476. That was Catechins. Knocking over all that stuff. Pushing the southwest power. Blue team have the 2 to 1. The tier 2s are in. Don't see any tier 2 units yet. Although, although we do see the tactical sergeant. They are getting kind of wrecked. Big heal goes out. Nasty flank there from Skid. And you know what? Skid should have ran into melee there. On those tacks. Like straight off. I think. Maybe they were worried about the Lord Commissar closing in. They might have got another model off those tacks in melee. There's that customized Storm Bolter. And now Armor of the Apothecarian is up. Sprinting around now that Apothecary level 2. And can use advanced healing and really support this blob. There it is. Need to try and take down that Apothecary if you can. Very good at positioning that guy, though. It's not as easy as it looks. Lord Commissar soaking up tons of damage. It's a pretty good... Was that a Hell Fury strike, I think, from the Inquisitor from a global bar? Big fight on this west side. Looks like the blue team have been forced to retreat, though. Sentinel stumps away. Can they get straight onto that power? I think they should try. Where's the Noise Marines? Oh. They could maybe run through the mid by themselves and bash this. Scouts might harass them though from Overtly. Overtly's got tacks over here too. Raptors with their aspiring champion. He gets that awesome looking demon maul as I call it. I don't know if that's actually what it's called in the files. 
I think it bloody should be. Scout's getting very close and then shotgunning. Devastators are going to get jumped, maybe. Indeed they are. Dev's in trouble. Kamikaze's forgotten about them. Microing their scouts, I think. Scouts got messed up. Scouts wiped. Devastators wiped as well. That's a really bad fight for Kamikaze. I think they got caught flat-footed trying to micro the scouts just as those guys got jumped and then they tried to micro those guys so the scouts died. But the carry falls. A rough fight for Paranoid Kamikaze there. Here's a Dreadnought though. Bad news for the Raptors. Up high has plenty of resources to respond but it could also go tier 3. There's, there's the response. It's Plague Marines. No war gear for any of the Plague Champions yet. Kicking off on the west side. There's that advanced healing. The Apothecary has no energy left though. He's only level 2. Needs more levels for more, for more energies. Guardsman fleeing. There's a Plasma Guardsman for Honiken. Double Plasma Guardsman in fact. Apothecary sprints over to the VP. And he can maybe get all the way through onto the power. Stormtroopers up for YZ. Oh, Sentinel goes down. Both the Sentinels are gone then. Stormtroopers on the way now for Honiken. There's tier 3 for Skid. Tier 3 for YZ. Did not upgrade the Stormtroopers yet. There's that Apothecary still down. Looks like... Oh, looks like they're both getting over there to revive. Apothecary can sprint around because of this armor of the Apothecary. 425414. And there's the Tier 3 for Overtly. And there's that Dreadnought. Where are the Plague Marines? Here they are. Oh, they, they spotted some scouts. Gotta to try to wait for the Dreadnought to commit, I think. And then you can jump the Raptors over it into the back lines. Meaning it can't fight the Raptors or it has to turn around and go after it. Meanwhile, you're shooting it with the Plague Marines and stuff. Obviously, don't bother shooting the Dreadnought with the CSM. Just shoot, the, shoot scouts or something. Inquisitor with her mandate. Capping that contested victory point back for the red team. And they're gonna have a two to one. Overtly bashing mid, or at least trying to. But here's Skid in defense. Lord Commerce are helping out though. Grenade is dodged. And scouts run. And Raptors jump. Everything gets away. But now Overtly's basically off the field. Yeah, completely off the field. Red team really need to try and push this. Is that double plasma? Yeah, double plasma tax for Paranoid. We saw the drop pod coming, didn't we? Yeah, it's up that there. Double slaughter CSM. Nasty. Reduces the cooldown of their bolt guns so they do a bunch more DPS, basically. Raptors jumped early. Jumping the tax. There's the heal. And that's a power axe. Apothecary's not messing around with his Raptors anymore. They had enough of them. Got armor of purity as well. Plague Marines getting shots on the Dreadnought. Still no war gear for this Plague Champion. They got that Nurgle Worship though. That sweet Nurgle Worship. Through the mid is Skid. With a double CSM and that Sonic Blast and Noise Marine squad. Here come the Tactical Marines. They're just on melee mode to get in on those Noise Marines. And Kamikaze able to get a Dreadnought over here too. I need to run out of this actually, Skid. Trying to keep the CSM in play. There's some Nurgle Worship. But the Inquisitor barely gets away. They've pushed through this side though, the red team. Well played, Honigan. Gets rid of YZ stuff. YZ has Kasakin on the field. Double CSM still in play. Heretics having to leave. It looks like Kamikaze didn't want to push the Dreadnought that much further up. And also needs some help over here. Just going to crash through this wall, I think. There he goes. Gets a decap. Does up high. Nicely done. Land Raider Phobos on the way for Skid. Goes straight after the Plague Marines. They weren't able to get a shot on it to slow it down, you see. They could maybe turn and get a shot if they wait for the attack. Now, they wait for the attack, they could turn and shoot maybe. Okay, they're running. They are a running. And they didn't drop a model. Don't really, really need to reinforce your Plague Marines up to three. I mean, they're... Their damage over time bolt guns aren't terrible, but they keep the missile launcher, obviously, even if they only had one model. I typically like to just 
reinforce my stuff up to full because I'm a noob. But it's not always the most efficient play. Tactical Marines didn't drop a model. Have they dropped a model ever, these guys? I don't know. Chaos Predator on the way for up high. Double slaughter CSM now. Pumping out that DPS. They can also draw chainsaws in this stance and get a bunch of health regen and actually really good melee damage too. It's a Nurgle worship. Still no war gear for this plague champion. Look at that DPS on the Lord Commasso though. Wow. Dreadnought comes in from the flank. Maybe a grenade as well and double plasma. Wow, that's huge amounts of damage very, very quickly. And they dropped some CSM, did skid. Nasty little flank there from Kamikaze. There's that holy pyre. What does it do again exactly? Debuffs your damage and does damage. 20% debuff as well, it's nothing to, nothing to sniff at. Catechin's doing their Catechin things, kill the guards on over there. Other carries level 4. Well into tier 3 is overtly. I guess they're waiting for red for terminators. Here's the land red of Phobos. With Laz cannons on the side sponsons. Coming we linked heavy bolter and a combi bolter on top. Counts as a demon so you can worship that thing. But great effect. And here's your chaos predator with the mark of corn. Mark of corn is so good. More speed, more damage. Raptors capping the Eastern Power. They've done well for up high. Level 3 those guys now. Ham of the Witches and a bunch of Laz and Plasma guns for the Pumasar's face. Overtly bashing power, of course. Facing down a Lehman Russ. It's a Vanquisher cannon, Lehman Russ. Oh, they killed a Marine, finally. They didn't get a full bash. Well, they've got two gens and the node, I think. There's a dirge caster. Stun. And then a duration of debuff from the Phobos. Are they going to give this thing an assault cannon, this dreadnought here? I'm not sure if it's going to be want wanting to run in when there's plague marines, a tank, and the Phobos. Tank took a bunch of damage from something. Uh oh, grenades on these guys while they get Mark of Zinch. Very rude. I think they killed an aspiring champion. Maybe. Oh, did they kill a raptor? Terminator's in for overtly generous. They're going to take huge amounts of damage here immediately, I think. Well, maybe not. There is an aura of discipline heal there. And here come two apothecaries to help them out. Imperial Abyss. That is nasty. From one of those plague champions. Kills an apothecary. Devastators just run right into it, almost die. Remar got away remarkably well, I think, from that. Very nice nuke, though, from... Probably up high, because Skid has spent red on Chaos Terminators now. Cyclone Missile Launcher. Typically a pretty good counter for Land Raiders, because they're so big. A bunch of the missiles hit it, but it, it seemed to escape quite well there. Wonder if these guys will get claws and just go try to bully those other Terminators. Get to decap. Goes up high. Doesn't seem like they're going for the cap. They are bashing power with some help of Honiken. Oh, this is Skids. Terminators bashing the power. Some Nurgle worship. Last Master Noise Marines. Decent hit on those Terminators there. It's a really good hit. No upgrade yet for these Terminators. Another good Blastmaster hit. Phobos got a good hit there. Mandating Inquisitor gets close. Uses Pergatus and a Hell Fury. Beautifully done by Honiken. Used the Mandate to get close. Hit the Purgation. Sets up the Hell Fury. But there's a rocket run from YZ. Wipes out Honiken's Guardsman. Bye bye Guardsman. They had double plasma as well, didn't they? Really good nuke by YZ, really good nuke. After some good play by Honiken, we have a multi melted Dreadnought. Which is fun. I mean, I don't know if it's going to get close enough to do things. We'll see. Let's be positive and say it's going to be amazing. Look at that. That damage per shot takes a Plague Marine shot though as well. 
Does it have dark age of technology? No, Kamikaze is not tier 3 yet. Overtly trying to push a bit here. We now have oh, it's auto cannon for the Terminators. Very good generalist weapon. Help you tear through pretty much everything. And we've got Laz Cannon Debs for overtly. Two of them, in fact. 128, 342. Quite a sizable VP lead for the red team. The Plague Marines have been, Plague Champions, I should say, have been great at persevering in the field, keeping a presence up so they don't get run over. Connickens have some great plays too, covering with some more guardsmen here to help repair things. Maybe we'll get a repair bunker. Two to one for red. That's Cannons moving up. There's that Cyclone Missile Launcher. What are they aiming at? The Noise Marines? Expect to see that used on the Phobos and nothing else. They uh, Apothecary, I should say, goes for the decap. Glassmaster isn't here to stop it. And that was a shot and a miss from the Lehman Russ. What were you guys up to? Oh, killing some stuff up there, maybe. We have a Bane Blade on the field for YZ. Lots of advanced healing. Apothecary ran out of energy, though. Decapped west side. Last master. With another good hit. It was in a dangerous spot though. Has to get away. The Inquisitor levels to four. There's that Bane Blade. Mega Battle Cannon, Demolisher Cannon, a bunch of Laz Cannons and Heavy Bolters. A bunch of stuff on that thing. There's that demoralization effect from the Chaos Terminators killing things. So you generally want to target something that's going to die a lot. Such as Guardsmen. Very good target for them get that demoralization stacking up try to counteract the inspiration effects from the terminators killing things Term chaos terminator is getting a bit low might drop a model soonish doing a lot of work though and there's some noble worship plague champion starting to get kitted out armor of pestilence plague fist on the way that's skid up high has armor of pestilence as well Still annoyed that this got nerfed down to 500 health. Down goes the Dreadnought. Well done, tank. Level 2 tank now. Bane Blade is here. It doesn't want to mess with the Bane Blade. Plague Marines are helping. The whirlwind up for Kamikaze for the disruption. The Brother carries down, though. Looks like it's trying to trade with the Bane Blade. Bane Blade's switching targets here. Oh, Raptors with Melters now. Jumping in. There's the Melter Bomb, and they can get a few shots in before they're forced to retreat at least. Oh, they're shooting the... Uh, they were shooting the guards when there, I think. There's an Imperial Abyss. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Bane Blade. Is there anything to follow up, though? Not really. Did a hell of a lot of damage, but nothing was there to finish it. Back to the west side. Terminator's healthy. Attacks have switched to a plasma gun for overtly generous. Trying to melee some pathogens as they run. They might wipe, actually. Yep, they do wipe. So if I miss our launch, I'll get some really good hits on Lehman Russ. Need some repair support. Where is the repair bunker? Phobos is just being worshipped, so it's loving it. Terminator's drop a model. Brother Kerry gets close for advanced healing. Last master doing some good work. Hit another one of those things, I say. Tap to Marines almost wiped out. So close. Couldn't quite get the cap. Oh, Brother Kerry's still going for it. Don't think it's going to work out, buddy. Here comes a Nurgle Shrine. I'm trying to put it in a place where it can support the west and the mid a bit I think. If you worship that thing you can reinforce off it. It's also going to heal allies and suppress enemies that get too close. Here's Skid's Plague Champion. Had enough of this damage of a time lock. He's going to smack stuff now. Terminators 
teleport out and more terminators appear for Gemerus. Inquisitor now on the cap down to 98 VPs the blue team was on the east side though it's a predator in trouble stormtroopers on it anti-armor kit down it goes that's an icon of Nurgle plague champion really reckon them actually with it armor of pestilence and there is that plague fist now tank did well down it goes some more plague marines maybe but up by it. That'd be really annoying. What are some habits, perhaps? Can't stay here forever, Mr. Plague Champion. There is Aura of Decay to knock back the Lord Kamasa. There is overtly scouts being sneaky. Yes, they are. Are they power bashing? Maybe just giving vision. Paranoid Kamikaze is back to his feet. Gets onto the VP. Oh, they are bashing power, look. Nurgle worship and a shrine. Double Vanquish Aleman Russes. So the Bane Blade probably doesn't want to go over to that side. Stick into the east for now. Up high. Can they defend? It's kind of a 2v1 here. Oh, they didn't throw their Melter Bomb, those guys. Not sure what they were up to. Should have been able to finish off that whirlwind, I think, if they chuck their melter. Meanwhile, back to the west side. 72 to 318. Tapped the Marines, popping and they show no no fear, but they, they knew a little bit of it because they run away. Look. Here comes the Inquisitor mandate up into Purgatus, I guess. There it is. Terminators are quite low. They do not like being stunned. Gets a smack on them. Now goes after the e, uh, last cannon. And then runs. Level 5. She did well. Created some space for the cap there, maybe. Here comes the Phobos. Goes for the Bane. They just tried to shoot the Demolisher, but he hit an object. Blastmaster trying to set up. Got hit by something. Was that a grenade launcher? Ah, a grenade launcher from the Castle Kid. But knocked you down with every hit. Sneaky Stormtroopers coming in. Can't rear armor hit a land raider, but they could do some work against it for sure. Can they get this Bane Blade down? Or maybe the Whirlwind? Last Master misses those Terminators. They teleported out. They should try to run down that Whirlwind, I think. Move Hurricane, says YZ. I think he's talking about a Whirlwind. Yeah, Whirlwind. It's one of those weather effects. Plague Marines are level 3. Slowing down that Bane Blade. Whirlwind has moved back. Which I think was a good shout. Here come the Raptors. Forcing melee on the Laz Cannon. Did not throw their Melter Bomb again. Maybe he wants to keep the energy for another jump. Great work by Skid bringing these heretics up. That worship, forward worship momentum. Move up worship, move up worship. We've got double terminators now as well with auto cannons. Took a bunch of damage there. They've moved all the way up the map with this. Almost got that apothecary down. Here come some sneaky stormtroopers. I mean, they're not, not going to finish it off, but they can get a little bit of damage on. What's going on west side? Overtly's here. Now they're in tier 3. They can very much contest this victory point with double terminators and stuff. Double chaos terminators getting very low. Where's that Nogla worship? There it is. Is it worth throwing a quick shrine up and being very annoying here? Might be. There's a the demolisher cannon. Whirlwind is probably going to stop anything from being able to cap. They're aggressively going after the Bane Blade, though. Phobos with that constant worship support is pretty damn good. There's a Dirge Caster. Lord Kumasar thinks again. The champion's on the cap. And he's got Armor of Pestilence, the Whirlwind. Can't knock him over. Single cap here. For the blue team. They have the red team's natural somehow. Was it overtly scouts? I bet it was. Western side is uncapped. 
Double Terminator is shooting down a shrine. Meanwhile, back up here. Oh, Plague Champion's gone down. Phobos has gone down. What happened? I guess Laz Cannon and Bane Blade and things happened. Wow. Completely missed it, but it went down pretty quick, I think. Can Skid get another one? Does he want to get another one? Oh, up high has one. There you go. Terminator is pushing in for overtly, trying to create space for the cat. Got some plasma castric in. Inquisitor's down. Scout's being annoying, looking for a grenade maybe. There it is. Beautifully placed. Can they get the kill? They almost got those castric in down. Really nice idea from overtly. There's that advanced healing. Can they pressure that apothecary a bit? Look at the damage from a double cyclone. That was nasty. Back to the east side is kicking off. I need to get a, a sip of water there. Here's the second Phobos. Can these guys finally get the whirlwind down? Not quite. There's a noxious cloud in there though, doing heinous things to those guardsmen. You know what? If he moved that thing earlier, he might have wiped both of those guardsmen squads out. Is that... No, that's Skid Snuggle Worship, so it wouldn't have been helping up highs. The Phobos. Little rocket run went in. Terminator's very lucky not to dro drop a model there. Look how low they are. Might need to get back to base for the percentage base healing. Scouts could maybe finish one off there. Overtly's capping. 68 to 178. Ogrins on the field for YZ. Maybe they shall become Ogrins. He's doing great work with these scouts overtly. Using them offensively. Level 4, so they are surprisingly kind of tough. Needs an execution of Lumen Rust here, Honiken. Oh, they have a Manticore. They do lots of damage, especially combined with Pogatus on those Terminators. You might see some of that. One of the Lumen Rusts is down. Kasukin are maybe going to wipe. Yes, they do. Bad fight for Honiken. And sneaky stormtroopers are going for something. Do they even know the manticles there? I don't think they do. I don't think they quite got close enough to spot it there. We do have some bullgrins up for YZ with those shields. 68 to 169. Blue team are holding on. Raptors just jumping into trouble again. They did get the melter bomb out that time. Red team are being being grinded down here. I think you needed at least one Execution Lehman Russ on that west side to really scare those Terminators. Those double Terminators, I should say. Now they're going to have Bullgrins to go ahead of them and tank damage and mess things up. Going to be tough. Going to be tough. 2400 hit points level 1, these guys. Lehman Russ leveled yet? Yeah, hasn't leveled yet. Manticore Strike goes in. Don't know how many hits it got. At the most it was two. Big Champions repairing. There's some Nurgle Worship as well. Is it up high worshipping? It is. Oh, looks like they are all rotating to the east side. They're trying to just get both of the natural VPs. We'll see if Overtly responds. Look at this ball of healing here. 68 128 on the VPs. Another Lehman Rust for Honiken. We'll see if this one is better. More Terminators here. Got to get Executioner up, I think. Got to. Overtly floating resources. They could get more Devastators or something, I think. Or more tax, maybe. Lots of damage. By an apothecary. Oh, and those CSM don't have aspiring champions. They don't have the pop for it. So they're not pumping out as much damage as they could. Level 5 plague champion here. We've lost the indicator. What is this? Oh, Emperor's Wrath. Boom. Big old boom from the Lord Commissar. Almost one-shotted those noise marines there. 
68 to 92. The red team just can't find a way through. Look at this Terminator's just in their face now. They get Purgatus. But uh, couldn't follow it up. Where's the Manticore? Manticore's there. On the eastern edge. Is that double assault cannon? It is. Look at them suppressing those plague marines there. 68 to 74. This Bane Blade has been amazing. I think the blue team have enough to cruise through. There's triple Chaos Terminators. Triple Loyalist Terminators. No Lightning Claws, eh? Why not? Because of the Bullgrins? They must just feel it's too much of a risk to commit Lightning Claw Terminators at this stage. Alongside a Plague Champion, they could be amazing because you could run in, Pestilence Strike, stun everything, and then Lightning Claw the crap out of it. Hey, we do have an executioner. It's taking some damage already, though. There's all the cyclones ever. Lehman Russ avoided it. 68 to 40, 2 to 1 for blue. There's a Manticore. Couple of good hits in there. Gotta try and get close enough to shoot that apothecary, I think. Look at that advanced healing. Can they pick out the apothecary? Doesn't seem like they can. Oh, nicely timed Basilisk Flare there to mess with their range. Taking out the Lehman Russ. And that one was an executioner. I mean, they do need to get closer. Maybe that's why they didn't get one earlier. Something's pushing the east side quite a lot. It's the Plague Champion trying to get in there with the Phobos. Level 7. They've already used Pestilence Strike though, and down they go. There's a Noxious Cloud. But blue team with a 2 to 1 cap, I think have done enough. There's the mandate. But oh, they might get a decap here. They might get a decap. Nope. No decap. Looks like I overtly got a sound bug right at the end. But they get the victory with some advanced healing at the end. What an awesome game. Blue team took the early VP losses to build up a staggering, just unstoppable force. Level 8 Apothecary for Overtly Generous. Level 8 Lord Commissar for YZ. Bane Blade was amazing. Level 4 Apothecary for Paranoid Kamikaze. We had level 5 Inquisitor. Plague Champion level 5 and a level 7 Plague Champion up high. A shame that we didn't see a cool Purgatus Manticore combo. Maybe there was one, I just missed it. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.